our plan is to destroy the famous white planet. <laughs> yeah, we've got to stop it and make sure the black devil wins the equator race this time. Of course, it's only fair that we do something to take the race in hand. <laughs> gotcha, boss. Let's get it done tonight. I know just what to do. And now, Conrad, engage the power lever. Yes, Doctor. That's it, and now push the throttle full. Right. Astro, how's the rotation of the power machine? Uh, all normal. Fine, we've got ourselves a great machine and a good chance to win again this year. Uh, thanks, Professor. The White Planet is like a brother to me. I like to hear it praised. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> the machine was the brainchild of your late father, so it is like a brother to you, isn't it? Conrad, come on in. It's time for lunch now. The White Planet's great. We'll win the race again this year. Dr. Elephant thinks so, too. Oh, so if you don't win, I guess the fault lies with you, the driver. <laughs> okay, Smarty. Hey, wait for me. Dr. Elephant, would you stay to dinner tonight? We'd love to have you. Yes, please. I think it would be so much fun. And you could tell us more about our father. Well, your father was a great engineer. It was always a pleasure to work with him. Oh! What? Oh, no! The White Planet! Get down! It's very difficult. It's difficult because of its electronic brain. It was very delicate. There isn't another one like it, and I don't see how he could build another in so short a time. I see. But there might be one way. Could we use your electronic brain in the White Planet just for the race? It might work. Oh, boy, sure. I'll get to be a robot car. Well, we're almost ready. We've just about got the connection made. Well, what do you say, Astro? Is your electronic brain all right? Yes, it's fine. Professor, I've got to talk to you. This is the starting point of the round the equator race. The race is about to begin. The object is to race completely around the world. The rules say that the competitors must not get more than two miles away from the equator or more than five miles above the ground. Now the rock band robots! As soon as they finish their number, the race will begin. Today's race is being transmitted by Satellite 194 and televised throughout the world. Ten minutes to starting time. The race will determine the best rocket car in the world. All entries have passed rigorous preliminary test races. So far, we've had no sign of the White Planet, five-time champion of this race. Too bad for the White Planet. It looks like the Black Devil's finally going to win this time. Yeah. Huh? Oh. What's this? It's the White Planet. 
trying for its sixth consecutive victory. It's the machine of the century. Heel. Heel. Yeah, boss. What's going on? Why is the White Planet on the starting line, huh? I don't understand, boss. We took care of it. I'm sure we destroyed it. All right. What I want you to do is to keep track of the White Planet. Whatever you do, keep your eye on him and destroy him. I got you, boss. Dr. Elephant, thanks to you, I've been able to enter. Strange. Mitzi's not here. I wonder if she's still angry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. They're off. Oh, there's been a collision. Oh, it's a major accident. The cars are in flames. The start is complete chaos. Black Devil in the lead, King Cobra in second, Magic Bus in third, and High Spider is in fourth. No sign yet of the White Planet. Ah, oh, there's the White Planet now. He's broken through. Astro, you're doing fine. Just perfect. Front runners now are at the Melanesia Seas. The Black Devil, which was second last year, is now leading, followed by King Cobra, Magic Bus, and High Spider. The White Planet is trailing. It lost a lot of time at the start. Satellite 194 has just been cut off. What'll we do? Check with the space agency. <laughs> we can't let them televise what we're about to do. Good thinking. All right, let's move on to the next step. Aye, 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 aye sir. sir. At this time, we would like to apologize for the blackout. It seems Satellite 194 has been destroyed. We do not know the cause yet. What's going on? What happened? They should be here just about any second. Right, there they come. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the way, Black Devil. Boss, there'll be trouble if they find us. Yeah, let's go down. Aye, aye, sir. Yo, no, wait for me. Listen to me. When the White Planet comes along, we'll surface and attack. Get ready! Aye, aye. Right on target. <laughs> Boss, 
We're still right on target. All right, let's surface. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, I said go up, not down. Hey, go up, 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 I say. Of course, we don't seem to be moving. Hey, something just went overhead. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> hey, watch it, you hear me? I can't believe it. is gone. I've been saved. Got to hurry. An SOS from Astro. What could be wrong? <clears throat> Boss, we got big trouble. Mechanical octopus has been blown up. Oh, no. Uh, all right, just go on to the next operation. for you. Take this! Oh! <laughs> 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 so 
so you've given up, eh? That's me. All right, if that's the way you want it. Ah, uh, why didn't you give up? Huh? Where'd he go? Boy, it's impossible. All right, don't think I'm through with you yet. Yeah! Oh, blast it! I've done it! Come on! Can't you do anything right? Okay, go on to the next step. a moment before the explosion, I'll win. All right. The controls aren't responding. Astro, you'd better not get in our way anymore. Astro, you'll pay for this. Come, come on. No, it can't go any faster. Huh? on its own. It's moving by itself. What's happening? I've got to do something. Help! Conrad! Come on, little brother. You've got to hold together just a little bit longer. Hey, don't be so rough on it. Huh? Astro, what are you doing there? You've got to be more careful, Conrad, or you'll destroy Mitzi. What are you saying? When your father made the white planet, he made an extra electronic brain. And he used that brain to make a very special robot. You mean, you don't mean. Yes, your sister Mitzi is a robot. You didn't know, but she came to us and told us that she wanted to guide the White Planet. That's the way she wanted it. I 
see. So she did it to save me. And went at that speed on her own. Exceeded all limits. Mitzi. Thank you. Arabia had elected the first robot president. But the Dead Cross Party was bent on keeping President Ritchie from taking power. They tried to destroy both Ritchie and me. But with the help of Daddy Walrus, I was ready to take on anything that Dead Cross Party threw at me. Don't miss the exciting adventure of the robot president next on Astro Boy. <laughs>